We have team coverage of this big story. Investigative reporter Laura Geller looked into the history of inspections and violations at the complex. And Laura, what did you learn? Well, the biggest finding of our investigation might surprise people. We dug through reports put together after fire department inspections and reinspections. Five reports spanning more than two years. We learned the buildings that burned where residents were killed and injured did not have a fire alarm system. The fire alarms have not been working. It's the complaint we hear from residents and their loved ones over and over in talking about the tragedy that claimed lives at the Chesapeake Crossing Apartments. The fire alarms did not go off. If it had not been for a knock on the door, wouldn't have known that anything was going on. Ernestine Tillett heard nothing because there was not a fire alarm system to hear. And there is nothing wrong with that. After digging through these inspection reports and listening to resident concerns, we went back to the fire marshal with questions. Turns out fire alarms in the 1937 buildings that burned Saturday are not required. We've uncovered the code at the time these buildings were constructed did not require fire alarms. So despite this absence, which might shock some people, the buildings built in the early 90s are in fact code compliant here. It's important to note the fire department says there are smoke detectors installed in the units and the sprinkler system has audible alarms when water is flowing as well. There was a lot of things wrong with the building. A lot of things. We wanted to check on Giselle Custodio's concerns as well. The main issue noted by fire inspectors in their last full inspection, the fire sprinkler inspection and fire alarm inspection reports were overdue. We're told management acted on those violations, hiring a contractor to complete those reports two months later. We just learned from the fire marshal in October of 2016, buildings 1937, which caught fire Saturday, earned a clean inspection. We also learned the Virginia Housing Development Authority checks in on Chesapeake Crossing because it received low income housing tax credits. The last inspection to make sure the property is maintained and operated in an acceptable manner was three years ago. Those inspectors are supposed to return next month. Laura Geller, 13 News Now.